Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, Costa Brava in Spain. So let's jump right into it. Again, there's lots of places to see in the Costa Brava regions of Spain. Also not far from Costa Brava is the city of Barcelona um, but in the region of across the Brava Spain is um, Girona city that um, has um, a market and uh, lots of shops uh, cathedrals and museums and parks to go and see there's also Salvador Dali Museum in Figurettes and uh, Costa Brava tour um, including lunch which is at uh, £90 per adult and um, there's um, a camp there's a cantino de Roda which is um, like a nature and um, a park there's also an old town uh, which is um, Villa Bella and a national park um, of K. D. Cruz, and there's a castle at Tosa de Mar, as well as beach, uh, a beach, and um, there's also ruins of emperors, and there's also a monastery, the Sant. For the Rodas, um, and there's a medieval village um, in Deep Pass, um, and there's bon Bonnet Gardens, the Cave Rag, and there's different church churches. There's um, a lot of beaches such as Kalela Beach, uh, Costa de Mar Beach, Lorette de Mar Beach, um, Blaine's Beach Resort, Santa Susana, Santa Falu uh, Beach. Um, there's also a traditional winery of Mass Mall. Um, so again there's different types of trips that you can go on um, in Costa Blanca another great way to find out about even more trips is to go on to TripAdvisor or Google it on the internet and uh, they'll give you a list of, of um, things to do but uh, those are just some of them there's um, also excursions uh, with your accommodation like hotel and apartments which you can go on and you can book them before or with the representative if you wish and and obviously you pay extra for those um, again you can also um, hire a car in um, mainland Spain that's really cheap um, there's also um, a range of petrol stations, car parks, um, so 
and again there's a wide range of accommodations such as hotels and apartments and camping self catering studios so a wide variety excuse me excuse me about that i've just got a bit of a cold um, again there's lots of places uh, to eat uh, like a lot of attractions have got cafes and places to eat um, in them um, again you can um, find a wide var a variety of shops um, in Girona City also Calela um, Barcelona the cities uh, got a lot of shops and um, also Lorette de Mar and um, so yes there's a wide variety of shops that you can go to also you would also get a lot of souvenir shops in resorts and cities as well which is uh, really good um but yes there's lots of things to do on your day out there's also water sports on beaches um excuse me again i've got a really bad cold <laughs> um and um again just a wide variety to, to do and to, for pl places to stay and Spain is also easy to get to a wide range of UK airports uh, go to Girona uh, which, it, which is uh, basically the airport that you'll be flying into if you're going to the Costa Barba um, also, the many coach companies also, if you don't fancy flying, go to the Costa Brava region. Also, trains, if you want to go on a train trip and get about in Spain, um, you can basically cycle, you can, um, the, uh, there's like walking tours, um, different sightseeing tours and um, boat tours different boat tours to go on and um, again there's a wide variety also there's taxis and um, local bu uh, buses and um, also um, trains as well and um, so yes there's definitely a wide variety um of, to do again lots of museums to choose from um, and uh, castles um and just basically other places of interest so it's definitely well worth going also there's lots of beaches also to relax on as well and do a water sports so um it is definitely a a very good location and um, again there's water parks as well so again it's definitely fa um good for families as well as adults so and um, basically um, you can get basically che cheaper flights and accommodation as well um, and to book these things you can book over the phone 
uh, with tour operators, travel agents over the phone or face to face and um, online on the internet, uh, also on tri uh, TripAdvisor you can book um, car rentals there, hotels and trips there as well. Um, again it really depends on what time of year you're going to um, but again it is June to August time the hottest and obviously the most busiest time um, to travel obviously you can still get rain even in that at those seasons so again if you check up on the weather before rounds then again you'll have a good idea what to pack um so yes so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next travel video which is going to be on a this Friday and it's going to be um, a day trip in America so please keep watching subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and um, I'll see you in my next travel video so thank you bye for now you all you subscribers mean a lot to me so thank you for watching thank you bye